much more of the same. Um, yeah, a bit different, different game, Reading. Um, but yeah, ultimately, um, take each day as they, each game as it comes. Same old cliches, but it's true. It's it's no reason one put that behind us, and we need to make sure that we we uh, treat that with the game with the same um, attitude that we treated the game on Saturday. Yeah, well, we're still on on track because there was lots of lots of aspects of the game on Saturday that were really really positive, and yeah, we wanted to uh, play in a certain way. Um, but you still can't lose all the other sides of the game. You still can't lose putting your body on the line and defending for your lives and and uh, fighting for each other and um, all those, the winning mentality, all those things that you can never lose out of the game regardless of how you want to play the game. Um, and the most pleasing thing for me was that stuff come out holistically without, without me having to... Uh, uh, well, you can't plan for that. So it's not like you can ask for that specifically. You can say, give them the expectations, which we do. And um, yeah, then obviously it's easy in pre-season, for example. It's it's difficult when you turn up and there's a, a good crowd and you're playing against a good team. So um, it was pleased that they were brave enough and they had the belief to carry out what we'd asked. And uh, um, hopefully it, it gives them more belief in what we're asking them to do as well. So, to uh, to know that um, if we do do it right, uh, we can beat anyone. Yeah, I think as we showed on Saturday that we've gelled really well and the groups um, really bonded well and and, um, and connected on a more of a personal side as well with some of the activities we've done um, on pre in pre season in Scotland. Um, so that I think that that helps and goes a long way into getting to know each other um, more personally and. Ultimately, that helps connections on the pitch, and I think we've shown that on Saturday. Um, it's important that we carry that on. Um, it's still only one game gone, so um, look forward to, to hopefully that carrying on and us keep um, keep improving and, and showing what we can do. It's always a style that, that I've liked to play. Um, I played it a lot last year at Derby. The team previous to that, I wasn't I wasn't allowed to to sort of express myself with the ball at my feet, which I I prefer playing with my feet. I, f I feel like it's one of my best attributes and it's one that I, I want to use. So I feel very comfortable doing that. There's going to be times where it does go wrong and I think we all understand that. Um, but it's about being brave um, and staying with it and, and ultimately trying to do the right things because that's what's going to get us a su success. Um, so yeah, it's about being brave keep doing what we're doing, keep improving on that and hopefully um, we'll get to where we want to be at the end of the season. Um, well, they were they put a really good performance in at Blackpool. Uh, unfortunate to uh, lose the game 1-0. Um, what they've got going on, it's not really any of my business, it's not a worry to me. Um, I can't I can't focus on that, I've got enough to worry about. I've um, got enough to, to deal with and work on and, and um, yeah, look, we'll go there. It's uh, it's a, uh, um, it's another game. It's the next one. Um, yeah, getting annoyed with people saying unknown quantity. I just don't get it. Like every single one of those players has played like hundreds of championship games. Like <laughs> all I've done is we've put a bunch of players together who have got loads of championship experience and asked them to carry out a job, which which they all have proved on Saturday. They're more than capable of doing. Um, so yeah, if we're still an unknown quantity now, then uh, uh, yeah, I worry for everyone else. I think the sky's the limit as long as we're willing to to take on information and keep learning and, and keep growing as a team. We know there's going to be bumps in the road, um, but yeah, it's about taking it all in, enjoying it ultimately because that's that's why we all got into the game. Um, so it's about enjoying our football um, and ultimately getting results on the pitch. And that will that will obviously help us enjoy the game. So um, yeah, it's about taking each game as it comes, making sure that we're doing the right things in order to to keep progressing. Um, yeah, and I think the sky's the limit for us. And you're only as good as your last your last performance. Um, and I think it was all to see, all all clear to see that. Don't don't be wrong. I'm. Everything I'm saying, you're you're ready to be shot down. You know, like as soon as you have a bad result, it's going to be um, 
oh, it's not working. So that's just life, isn't it? So uh, at the minute, um, the lads lads get on great. Um, I think it speaks volumes when the players are saying the same thing that I'm saying. And I can promise you I haven't teed them up to, to answer the question. So, uh, um, yeah, look, they get on great. Training's really good. Um, the atmosphere at the training ground is really good. Um, and the atmosphere here on Saturday, because of what they did, uh, was really good as well. So uh, um, it's a different test Saturday. Um, it's the next one. Um, because of the way people pr make predictions, etc., it's a, it's a different mental test as well because um, Norwich have got the favourite tags and then us, along with a few others, have got the tag of we're going to be scrapping it out down the bottom. So, um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on, on Saturday. Um, I think the belief in the dressing room is very high right now, um, especially after that performance. And I think it's it's put a marker down of of what we can be and what we want to be. Um, Norwich, obviously, a team that was in the Premier League last year. Um, but as I say, we don't want to get carried away and we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Um, it's a case of taking each one as it comes. And we've got a very tough game against Reading on Saturday.